Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to connect an Xbox controller on your Mac. So you will see it's pretty easy. The first thing that you need to do is go to your search. Search for Bluetooth. So we're going to open the Bluetooth section over here. The first thing that you need to make sure is make sure that you activate your Bluetooth. So you should see a blue thing over there. Uh, so now your, your Mac will search for a Bluetooth device. On the Xbox, you just press on the X over there, make sure that your controller is open. And after that, all the Bluetooth, the sync over there, you will see it's flashing with the Xbox logo. Now on your Mac, you see that you have a Bluetooth device. Click on it, connect. And now, as you can see, the Xbox wireless controller is now connected. You will see the battery left on your controller and now it's working over there. The other thing that you can do on your Mac is uh, look to your uh, game pad. So just write game controller over there and you will have a nice option. You double click on it. You see that you have an Xbox or less contr controller and uh, you can like change the haptic feedback. You can recustomize, customize all your button on the controller. So it's pretty cool. You have a couple of stuff that you can do over there. Also, if you're using your controller on Steam now, it will be detected. So you go to preference on your Steam. And after that, go to controller. You will see that you have the Xbox Series X controller. So again, you can activate, disactivate the game uh, rumble. You can reverse those uh, bu uh, Nintendo button layouts. I know a lot of folks are used to B and A, not A and B. So you can do that also with Steam and you can do a lot of different tests. So you can uh, change the calibration, do some advanced setting. As you can see, you have a couple of stuff that you can do over there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so you can customize a lot of different options. Uh, the one that, that I like, it's the idle for the gamepad. If I don't touch my gamepad, sometimes I feel like 15 minutes is a bit long. So you can put t t 10 minutes or five minutes to save your battery and it will work flawlessly so this is pretty much it guys for my uh, xbox controller guide and how to connect a gamepad on your mac if you have any question just comment in the youtube section ask me any question about it i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace